Hi, my name is Alex with Dave Tech Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create your own personal templates in Confluence. You're going to want to use this if you want to basically standardize a specific format for maybe how to conduct meetings or how to capture specific information that you want everybody across your team to be able to reuse and basically replicate every single time. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing, drop a like if you get any value out of these videos. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. And most importantly, don't forget, you must hit that subscribe button. Let's jump into Confluence. All right, so here we are in Confluence. And in order to do this, we actually do need to have a Confluence administrative level privilege because this setting a global template is something that is going to be at the global level. So you need to have global level permissions. Assuming you have the right permissions, you'll be able to click on the little gear on the top right corner, and then you're going to be redirected to the configurations of Confluence. On the left hand side, we are looking for this little section over here. Let me see if I, if I can expand it. Global templates and blueprints. And yes, in Confluence, a template, specifically the personal ones, the ones we're about to do today, they're technically called blueprints, but I'm just gonna generalize the term and just call them a global template. But don't be confused if you see the word templates and blueprints, they pretty much mean the exact same thing. All right, so once you're here, you can basically see that these are all the templates that I've actually covered in a previous video where I show you all the default templates that Atlassian gives to you as just being a user of Confluence. So there's over a hundred in there. And if you're curious about these templates, make sure you watch that video that I've made maybe a month or so ago, talking about basically some of these templates and how you can leverage them. But this video isn't about that. We're not gonna be talking about those templates because those are baked into Confluence. They just come out of the box in the tool. Today, we're gonna be talking about the global page templates. This is going to be something that's a little bit more personalized. This is something that's unique to you and your team or your company. For example, the most common use case of this is maybe you want to capture meeting minutes in a very specific format. You and your team have a very particular way of capturing information and you want the exact same information to be pretty much common or standardized throughout all the different individual contributors with respect to this particular meeting. So in order to kind of enforce that, rather than making everybody copy an existing page and then deleting all the content from it and then recreating all the information, you can just create a template that is readily available in Confluence and then any team member can leverage that template. So let me show you how to do that. So we're gonna come here and you're just gonna click on add global page template. I'm gonna open it up in a new tab. I do want to point out that there is a little link here that you should be able to look up and click. And this is going to give you a little bit more information as to what these blueprints slash templates are. Now Atlassian, why don't you just call them templates instead of blueprints? Because it just confuses everybody. But anyways, it's over there on the side if you want to see it. Creating the template is pretty much the exact same thing like creating a page. So you're going to just give this a title. So meeting minutes template. And then this is where you get control. This is where you get to basically set up this page in the configuration and the formatting and the flow of information that you want to capture for your specific thing. Now, let's just say that I want to start off with attendance. So I'm going to put a table, attendance, email, I don't know. And, and that's pretty much it. So I'll just capture those two things. I'm going to delete this column. And then below that, I'm going to put a let's say let's say that i'm going to put in a heading of meeting topic colon and then let's say i put another another heading of action items colon and uh, let's just say that we have another last final section where we have next steps i don't know i'm just making things completely up this can be whatever you want Underneath this, I'm just going to put in a nice little color coding. So you can actually put like info panels here and say capture and the reason, capture the reason why everyone is 
gathered for this meeting. For the action items, we can put another one that's maybe a little bit more colorful. So you can actually come, we can put our warning label or success, right? I'll use success and go capture important things that someone needs to take action on. And then the next steps, I'm just gonna add a different color here. We're gonna do the info panel and let's see if it finally sticks. Things that need to get done before next meeting. All right, so once you've captured this table, once you've basically defined, again, this page can be however you want. You can use macros, images, links, hyperlinks, whatever, anything that you want, however you wanna organize this. But once you're done, you'll notice that instead of having the publish button, you have the save button. And just to kind of make these things a little bit easier to find, I'm just gonna call it internal meeting minutes template. I'm gonna hit save. And so once you save it, you'll notice that it's here and, and that it now is, becomes an available item. And so to actually use this template so that your team can actually go and use it, all you guys is go to a space wherever you wanna go into. And whenever your team members are gonna hit that create button, it's going to be on the right hand side. We can now look up here. There's a couple ways to get to it, but you can click on custom. That's going to show it to us. Or if you have all of them, you can just start typing in the name of the, of the template and it should go and find it. And when you click on it, it'll basically create this page. And so now your team can use this template over and over and over and over without again, having to copy the previous meetings page delete everything out and then start populating again. So this is a very helpful, effective way of ensuring some stability, some standardization, um, some look and feel that feels the same across your different teams. And feel free to create as many as appropriate to make sure that your team, again, is just capturing this information in the same way. Because if you don't usually use templates, then everybody has a creative freedom to basically capture information however they want and sometimes things can get a little bit untamed. And so if you wanna reel in a little bit more control, leverage these blueprints, these global templates, create the ones that make sense for you and your company, and then make sure that everybody's using them. And that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. If you made it this far and you haven't subscribed, please make sure you smash that subscribe button because it really does help out the channel tremendously. And if you haven't dropped a like on this video, make sure you drop a like. Make sure you share it with your coworkers. Make sure you share it with your friends. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now.